we, we as tribal governments have with the United States. So I, I leave you with that. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, David, for hosting us here on this land. Is Gary here? There he is, right behind me. So uh, I want to introduce Gary, Ball, Gary Paul Navhan, who uh, has a very special connection to Quito Paquito and, and this place. And uh, a lot of you know him. He's a very, very well-known author from our region here and knows a lot about everything around this place. <laughs> really does. Thank you for all being here. Uh, this is a place of where three nations have come together into some of the most beautiful work through the International Sonoran Desert Alliance and other coalitions here that we've ever seen any place in the Southwest. The Tohono O'odham Nation, Hyachet O'odham people that have been represented by uh, the, the youth that have just sung and, and uh, recited poetry and given their heart to us. The Hispanic community on both sides of this border and the many people, immigrants from around the world that we call Anglos that are far more diverse than that. And we all have a stake in this, all of us, in supporting the autumn rights to the places along the border because what is happening right now is a violation of the higher laws that guide all of us. And I want to say that a little bit more clearly. Over the last few months, we've seen 41 federal and state laws waived uh, injunctions by Center for Biodiversity, Tohono Nation, American Civil Liberties Union have gotten temporary injunctions, and then they have this great word for what happened then. They were vacated. I think the heads were vacated to not maintain those injunctions. But what we have to remember is that some of the things that w brought us here together cannot be vacated, cannot be violated, and must be sustained. First of all, the sacred right of every human, guaranteed by the United Nations, the right to access to fre fresh, safe, and healthy waters, like the ones at the Springs of Quito Bequito. And I'm just going to say four of these things, and I'd like you to call back to me. We affirm these rights by higher laws. We affirm these rights by higher laws. So the right to water. The water there is the only water source for 20 miles in any direction. <laughs> you can just stay with this occasional, we affirm the rights. But the point is, people have lived, survived because of getting to that water, and now a wall will not only block wildlife movements, but the people. So do we reaffirm these rights by higher laws? Yes. The right for people fleeing violence. Do we reaffirm these rights by higher laws? Yes. The right for seeds, pollinators, and things that we don't see to move in safe passage, climate refugees. Do we reaffirm their rights by higher laws? Yes. And the traditions that we've just gotten a tiny little glimpse of that are still alive, religious traditions that began perhaps 10,000 years ago at Quito Baquito and have been maintained through my time of studying that place since 1978. When I'm out there at dawn or dusk, I've seen Hyachet Autumn people renovating the graves in the cemetery for All Souls Day, leaving offerings at, at shrines that I can't divulge where they are, I only saw from a distance, maintaining baptisms and honoring their ancestors there. Do we reaffirm their rights by higher laws? We reaffirm their rights by higher laws. I happen to be an ecumenical Franciscan brother, and one of the ironies in this, this uh, uh, history of colonization and, and uh, 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 oppression over the years is that the very first place that we know of 
where there was a Palm Sunday Mass using desert plants like palms and agaves on Palm Sunday was by Padre Quino at Quito Baquito when it was called Arwaipia or San Segurio in 1699. Those Catholic traditions have also been maintained there. Some of the autumn are Catholic. Some of, most of the people within a uh, hundred miles here are of one Christian faith or another. This is a violation of constitutional rights to religious freedom. Do we reaffirm those rights by higher laws? We reaffirm those rights by higher laws. I want to say we are allies to one another, but we also have laws on our side. The Constitution, the right to religious freedom, international laws from the UN that was just mentioned to us, and the laws of nature offered to us by our Creator, by what any name you wish to use by that Creator. Do we reaffirm these rights by higher laws? Hold those laws in your heart. May the Creator bless you. Thank you. Thanks, Gary. So I'm going to reaffirm my favorite higher law. That's the right of the people to resist and throw off tyranny. Resist oppression. So uh, there's a lot of groups represented here. I, I, there's no way I'm going to list them all, uh, but what I want to do, uh, so Center for Biological Diversity, Sierra Club, National Parks Conservation Association, I see the Samaritans back there. Shout out whatever organization you're representing here. Let me hear what the... Jewish Voices for Peace. Jewish Voices for Peace. No more deaths. No more deaths. Extinction Rebellion. What's that? Women Act Now. Women Act Now. Pima County Democratic Party. Pima County Democratic Party. What's that one? Code Pink. Code Pink? All right. Justice for Jose Antonio. Arizona, Palestine, Solidarity Alliance. Grace St. Paul Episcopal Church. Arizona, Palestine, Solidarity Alliance. Arizona, Palestine, Solidarity Alliance. Who's in the back there? Tucson for Bernie. All right. All right. Well, if we had Bernie in the White House, we wouldn't have this problem, would we? Yeah. Arizona Green Party. Who else is here? Democratic Socialist America. What is that? Deportados Unidos. Gracias. One more? Raging Grannies, ladies and gentlemen. If you got the Raging Grannies on your side, you got a fighting chance. That's what I'm saying. All right, well, thank you to everybody who put in the work to make this happen and came out here. We're going to do another uh, piece of this now, and I'm going to bring up Lake and Jordal, who's our, our just killer border organizer for uh, the Center for Biological Diversity. Come on up here and talk to us about logistics and what's going to happen next and how we can make this work as smoothly as possible. Thank you, Randy, and thank you, everyone. We love you all deeply and dearly. Um, I'm going to say something. I want you to say something back. Um, when our sacred sites are under attack, what do we do? Rise up, fight back. When our sacred sites are under attack, what do we do? Rise up, fight back. When our borderlands are under attack, what do we do? Rise up, fight back. When the water in the desert is under attack, what do we do? Rise up, fight back. When Oregon Pipe is under attack, what do we do? Rise up, fight back. Thank you.